I'd like to quickly talk about how to do well on optimization problems on exams and quizzes. So especially if you're taking this class at university level, right, it's like uh, the one that I'm a, I'm a TA for, uh, you will see optimization as kind of a big problem. Right? So these can be pretty difficult to, to tackle sometimes. So I wanted to give you some advice on how you can do well on these kinds of problems. Okay. So the first thing you want to do is you want to do a lot of timed practice. Optimization problems involve real world scenarios. So there are a lot of different kind of examples we can throw at you. Right? So you want to do as much practice as you can to make sure you're familiarizing yourself with a lot of the subtleties that emerge from each kind of problem. Equally important, if not more, is doing timed practice, right? Because in exams, uh, you only have a finite amount of time. So even if you perfectly know how to do a problem, sometimes if you just don't give yourself that pressure of doing it under time, sometimes you might, um, even if you knew how to know how to do it, sometimes you just might not be able to get it done in time. So do timed practice. And these problems can get very tedious very fast. So make sure you're, you're um, actually preparing yourself to do these in a fixed amount of time. Right. So don't lose yourself exam points just because you couldn't do this in time. Right. Next, please do not memorize questions. Please do not memorize questions. It's very tempting to just look through a bunch of these, try and memorize the solutions. That's not going to help you because A, there's just so many problems that could be thrown at you. You'd be just wasting your time because it's very difficult to memorize so many, like 20 different types of problems. And also B, if you do this, all we have to do is change one little thing about the problem, make one thing slightly different, and you will be thrown off completely. So it's just a waste of your time. Don't bother with it. Instead, take a more heuristic-based approach, right? Do practice, look for little subtleties in the problems, and that, that will help you do much better. Lastly, you, might have, you saw the list of steps before. Explicitly show each step, right? Again, I have three practice problem videos coming out after this. I will give you a breakdown of how to do that in those videos, but show each step, right? This is not only very, this is not only, um, this is not only very useful for whoever's grading your work, right? It can help you, it can, it'll help them follow your work a lot more easier. It's also just helpful for you, right? If you wanna go back and check something, if you have that flow of work very neatly laid out, it's much easier for you to go back and, um, and see what, uh, what you what's going on right so i know different different instructors or different people will require different levels of uh, different levels of complexity with this uh, some people might require even more steps than what i'm looking for in in what i show in my videos uh, some might require less regardless just try to show as much as you can as a grader myself it helps me give you give you as much credit as i as i can like even if you screw something up this way i can give you more partial credit right so this is something that you should definitely pay attention to Lastly, like I said, I've got three practice problem videos coming out after this. Please be sure to check them out. I cover uh, some some more complex optimization problems in great depth. I go through all the steps, kind of some things that you should be you, you should be familiarizing yourself with. So please make sure you check those out. They'll be out in the next few days. Um, but yeah, I hope those help you help you do well on this topic. If you found this video helpful, please do like, share, subscribe, leave a comment, and check out some other videos. See you next time.